Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. A special thank you to all of my outstanding Patreons for your continued encouragement and support. Patreon members get access to hundreds of high resolution photos, previews of the future material, and direct dialogue with me. If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons as this helps as well. Thank you. This map indicates the entire Giga Texas property line shown in red and all of the areas of construction around the site, which includes the green area with the foundation, that's the phase one original plan, the six areas of additional construction, and the magenta area, which is also known as the Bobcat project area. For today's flight, we will be predominantly concentrating on areas one through six and the magenta Bobcat project area in the east. It was a busy day with a lot to see, so let's dive right in over on the west side. We see that uh, the area is completely dried out. They've been doing a lot more work on the hills and pond removal. We've gone over to the west side to see where the road intersection to Highway 973 is, and they're doing a lot more of the road preparation work for pavement. A little bit farther south next to the bridge, we see the uh, work underneath the bridge. They've uh, put some dirt in there to raise the uh, level and prepare it for the road. Then they're still working on that uh, fusion uh, uh, welded piping to go under the river. In the central area, we see that the water vaults are pretty much installed now. They added, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner photo, the missing uh, column, but I think there's gonna be another row of columns put in just a little bit south of that. And overall, the water vaults are ready for uh, covering over. Back across the highway in that uh, staging area, just uh, near Harrow Green Road, we see more of the wall panels. And specifically what the arrows are showing you is these are the concrete double T roof panels. And these are for the casting area, which suggests that they plan to move really quickly on the construction of that area. And then looking at the General Assembly building, as we mentioned in my previous video, we saw the uh, Model Y body there. And some people were asking, what is it for? And again, they're using these uh, bodies to test out the assembly alignment and uh, the operation of the uh, general assembly area and a source that i've been talking to confirms at the north end of the building and we had these pictures on my 29 may uh, video but this is where they call the marriage and this is where the painted body meets up with the drive line and then continues for the rest of the installation Moving to the south end of the General Assembly building, we see more steel has been erected uh, now at uh, the full height, and they're continuing to move to the south. We also see more of the steel uh, prepared for the assembly, and they've moved a crane, so now there's just four there. Then we do a quick stop at the south end of the parking area. We see a new excavation is uh, being constructed right now, uh, and I do not know what the purpose is, but we'll keep monitoring this for further developments. A little further to the east, we take a look at the uh, foundation work. It looks like it's uh, widening up both on the east and west sides of the original initial section. The rest of the area is pretty much flat. And we look up at the old housing area, that communication center tower. It looks like it's about to be moved, and I think I know where the uh, location may be. Flying a little bit further to the east near the contractor trailers, we see this uh, bottom left-hand photo showing a new temporary area that may be where that communications uh, equipment and tower is going to go. On the right-hand picture, we also see another area that's being prepared for some sort of foundation. And then we fly up to the far northeast to take a look at that big clearing area. And our final stop of the day is back in the casting machine area where a lot of developments are occurring. First, on the upper left-hand corner photo, moving in the clockwise direction, we see more of the cross beams have been installed now next to the paint shop. Uh, and there's more columns on the ground preparing to be uh, installed. We see more castings uh, being made and put into those uh, dumpsters. And then the bottom left-hand photo, we see the first of the roof beams being uh, erected, and that should be done later today. I hope you found this overview informative and will be helpful throughout the video to put things into context. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas.